Home brewing is like the gift that keeps on giving, Clark. Yo, turn it up. Oh my goodness, it's Catter Day. Hey, buddy. You eating your Catter Day? They know they're getting ready to go to the doggy park. We're gonna get ready to go to the doggy park. <laughs> and no. She's taking back my furniture. She doesn't like it. Boo! All y'all persuaded her. It's all your fault. She even painted the mirror to make it match. What are you gonna do? Whoa, that's kind of weird. I'm trying to walk. Have you ever tried to walk with a mirror in front of you? It's like, feels like there's stuff behind you forever, but it's not. Yum, little breakfast slash brunch before we hit the doggy park. We finally got that piece loaded and ready to go. Now we're gonna grab some lunch. Huh? They're underneath. Fresh buns here. See? Oh, snappy. Okay. It's so funny. They're so anxious to get here, but then once they get here, they don't want to go into the park because they're too busy smelling. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't... Are you having a good time? Am I? Yeah. <laughs> You are cute. Get him. Go get him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Emma's ready. He said, let me smell you. Quit moving. Okay, y'all. Oh my gosh. Dave Cowart, the beer master. What is going on? So is this thing turned on right now? Yeah, that thing's on right now. So, so it's, what it's, is he doing? This is a homemade stir plate. So this is a computer fan. We're blow, uh, brewing beer. This is a computer fan that has two magnets on it. Just kind of hooked up to some, some electricity. What? So then I could take this thing that has a little magnetic bar inside of it, stick it on here. And that's the yeast. And this is the yeast. Oh, you hear it kind of start picking up steam. What? So you did this last night, you had to boil it? Yeah, so I boiled a little bit of dry malt extract last night, added in the yeast, and it's been stirring since last night. So the stirring lets more oxygen get in there and increases the amount of yeast. That is crazy. Dave Cowart's, what are you going to call this? Brewery? <laughs> You're going to open up your own brewery. Yeah, somebody wants to spot me drinking the grand. <laughs> Starts off in the garage. Any band that started, started in the garage. <laughs> this is the mash tun. What? There's so, a lot that goes into this. We'll pour the grain in there. It'll steep in there for about an hour like tea. And then it'll flow out. And you made this? filter out, yeah. So it'll filter out and come out here and then we'll put that back in the kettle to boil. These are the hops. They give a little bit of flavor, aroma, some bitterness. So you have to go buy these? Where do you buy these? Those I got at Hop City, but there's another place called Alibur. They have a place that just sells hops. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's a beer shop that also sells homebrew stuff. Well, these are hop pellets. Normal hops are leaves. This is crazy. What? So these are all mashed up. What do they nice smell like? Oh yeah, it smells like a beer. <laughs> so this is the barley. So there's hops, there's barley, there's a lot of boiling. You saw the yeast? The yeast. This thing that he put in here, he showed me, if you spin this around, he's like put a, cut a slit on the bottom of each of these tubes and it filters the liquid out. We were just saying it doesn't get any man manlier than this. There is a burner heating up water to make beer. Oh. <laughs> on a table made out of saws <laughs> with football on the iPad with a Call of Duty Elite uh, iPad <laughs> holder. <laughs> Beer, beef jerky, manly, charcoal. Yeah. This is called doughing in. You take the hops. Grain. I mean grain. And then he's going to hook the hose up and put the water into that. Yeah, that's some hot water. This just smelled like a bakery, he was just saying. I mean, it smells so good in here. Mmm. Look at this. This is this is like a hop tea bag. It's a hop spider. Uh, <laughs> that is insane. He built this, like, and it's just gonna hang. It's gonna drop it in and then drop the hops in, and it'll just... Look at that. 
I mean, yeah, metal because that thing's gonna get hot. I had no idea all this went into <laughs> brewing beer. Well, the crazy thing is it doesn't have to, or you can go even further than this. Cause, like the first kit I ever made was just, I poured a can of stuff into a pot, boiled it, and then put it in a fermenter. This is kind of like an intermediate setup. Oh hey, yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's like a super cooler. <laughs> yeah, so this will go in there, we'll run cold water through it, and then cool down the, the wort as quickly as possible. Okay guys, so we're waiting. We have to wait now. I was just in here playing with this camera. Look at this thing. Buddy, what? Woo, woo. So Dave, what are you doing today? <laughs> Look how cool that is. It's just so quick and it's the white little Nikon. Katie, let's get this. It's the one in the Ashton Kutcher commercials. Oh, the Ashton camera. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all have missed so much. I've been running around today after Cullen and I went to the dog park. This little baby girl's been sleeping. Hey, I know I had a breath because I just ran up the stairs. I returned that front piece, the um, piece for the entryway. Took that back. It just wasn't right. Just wasn't right. So I took that back and then I went to a few other places to look. Went to Tuesday morning, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. I wanted to hit up like the discount price places, you know, that may not have the best quality stuff, but sometimes they just have good random pieces. I went and got my car washed. I went and picked up my infinity scarf, the Granberry finish, and I don't have it on right now because I was sweating. <laughs> went to Target, and you shouldn't send me to Target by yourself, by myself, because I came home with these random organizational pieces. Excuse the mess up here. There's laundry everywhere. Um, I got these organizational pieces because our closet's having some issues lately. Helen keeps all his t-shirts and stuff up there, but once they get to a certain height, they kind of start to fall over. And so he often doesn't want to put his clothes up. So they end up right here, all piled up on the floor. However, mind you, this is also where I keep my shoes up under there. You probably can't even see because it's dark. I keep my shoes under there, but I can't get to them because he has his clothes on top of them. When I was at Target, they had all this new organizational New Year get the organized stuff going. And they had these shoe racks that I thought would be good to put on the bottom. On top of those, you can stack these. It's upside down. Colin could put his shirts in there on the side of the wall. So let's see how that turns out. I'm hoping it will help. We just needed something else because it just isn't really working for his shirts to just go up there and then they fall over and then it's just hard to get to and so then they don't get put up and all that stuff. So maybe this will fix that problem. Okay, y'all. This is serious. This guy is serious. Check this out. He's got a kegerator right here that he's put two little kegs in and he had these the other night at the, uh, y'all saw him on the vlog on New Year's Eve and he's cut the stuff out of there to get it to fit. That's crazy. CO2 tank back there comes up here to this. This is where he said all the good beer comes to die. And then and he's talking about he's wanting to install this in the kitchen in their kitchen in their other in their new house. And it's basically gonna be like at the restaurants. So they'll have ta on tap. And so then he shows me this. This is crazy. Look at that, he's gonna build that. This is serious though. This is like what you need to do to figure out what you're gonna do. So this is what the beers should look like. He's got a software. This is so just, so many different aspects that you don't think about when people brew beer. All right, so now all this is coming out of here. Going into there. About what the color's gonna be like, he's saying. I has all the beer. There it is, y'all. This is crazy. He's draining it. All from the hop, I mean, <laughs> barley. <laughs> oh yeah, when do you add those? You've already told me that too. We, whoop, watch out. You'll add the, um, we'll add the hops after we start boiling. Uh, <laughs> it's Zach Galifianakis, y'all. <laughs> he's got custom bottle caps. He's got a bottle cap topper thingy in there that like squeezes around the bottle cap and just clamps it on. So now this is gonna check for something. We're gonna check the specific gravity basically to measure how much sugar is actually in there. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Here go the hops. That's so cool. All right, guys, now the next step is he's put this uh, snake coil that I showed you all earlier in the water that's been boiling for about an hour. And now he's going to run cold water through the coil and then it's going to go through that hose just to shock it and kind of cool it down quicker. It's like science and engineering and cooking, he's saying. All to produce beer. Okay, so here's the yeast. He's okay. And there's the beer. 
This what this is what gives it the uh, alcohol. You can really see it in here. Yum. What if you just drank that straight up? <laughs> you would have the worst gas. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to brew beer. This is like a smart person hobby. Dude, what is that? Oh, that's the magnet. That's, that's the magnet. I'm glad you remembered that. Yeah. I would have just dumped it in there. <laughs> Somebody would have had a magnet in their bottle. <laughs> That is cool. And that, folks, is a, what's up? Five gallons? Five no. gallons of ESB. Five machine. gallons of ESB beer that has just got to sit and ferment for okay. about, how long? Two weeks? Yeah, it'll be somewhere between a week and two weeks. Two weeks. And it'll have a nice extra special bitter. Oh my gosh. And he was just saying, this is the airtight cap that he's put on there that'll allow the CO2 from the yeast to escape and not let oxygen back in. Is that water? Is that sanitized water? Yeah, that's sanitized water, but... Home brewing is like the gift that keeps on giving, Clark. This is grain. Leftover barley and cheese, and what he's done is he's mixed peanut butter and egg and flour and made homemade dog treats. So he's sending me home with a bag of hot uh, barley so I can make dog treats. Or Katie, you can make dog treats. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of dog treats. It's gonna be awesome. Isn't it pseudo? Pseudo's like dog treats? Did you say dog treats? What? Are you crazy? He's looking at you like, hey, he said dog treats. <laughs> pseudo, you're crazy. You're crazy. Oh my goodness, you're so excited. You are so crazy. You wanna show them where your crate is? You crate. <laughs> so here's my home. Hey, right there's my bed. Over here's my lamp. Oh, snap. And the good thing is, is they're healthy. Oh, good catch. So there are two rules of drinking a homebrew. One. These are, these are other ones you send me. These are the home. raspberry wheat. So first rule is you want to leave the last half inch in the bottle because it'll have yeast. So make sure you pour it in a glass. Right. The second one is always return your bottles to your friendly neighborhood brewer. <laughs> needs them. <laughs> or you, or I'll just bring them to you yeah. to, in Sunday school tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and these are raspberry wheat, right? Yep. Raspberry wheat, RW. So he's sending me home with some of those. That's just amazing. If y'all uh, think Dave should start selling his own beer, leave a comment below. <laughs> y'all, that beer making brewery, home brewery, was just legalized in Alabama last month, uh, last summer. This past summer. This past summer. It was illegal so before. So we, if this was like two years ago, it would have been illegal. We just did some illegal stuff on the internet. <laughs> oh! No, really, honestly, the, thank you, Dave, for showing me that. It was really interesting. Like, there's so much, so much that goes into that stuff. And then you just go to the store and buy it. And you're, you're just like, you're just oh. Like, huh. Huh. Whoops, Whoops, just spilled that one. <laughs> I know. That's my experience at least. <laughs> now that I know kind of the process, I want to go over and watch it again. Like, because he had to like it really explain everything, which kind of prolonged had, the that, that wasn't time frame. Mine. Like, but, having to explain it all to you. Like, that seems kind of annoying. No, he, he was fine. He's okay. good. Yeah. Anybody want some loaded potato soup? Doesn't it look good. What? Oh my God. It's I'm just so having a little tonight. tiny bowl. So cold tonight, and I'm reheating. This is my famous way to reheat a calzone that I had from Friday work. Cover it with aluminum foil, and it leaves it like it left the bakery, just crisp and ready to go. The bakery, the pizzeria. The pizzeria bakery. So we're getting ready to eat and go to bed, and I'm gonna play my game a couple times, and then we will see you tomorrow. So. That's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I hate that game. <laughs> Oh, we love you. I look rough, guys. Sorry. <laughs> we both apologize. Do. Whatever. You took a shower today. I've been brewing beer all day. We'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Yep. And thumbs it up. And subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. What? 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 Don't drop it. Ah! It's a good thing I have my finger on that. Lord of mercy. That's what she said. Oh! Oh wait, do it again. Oh! oh.